JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFrace.com, your boy's back and I done did it again. Guys, we here to answer your boy Matt. He left a good comment about, you know, just basically him becoming a developer. So anyways, let me read it for you guys. So he says, hey, Joe, I've been following your videos on, on and off for a while now. Long story short, I'm a designer at heart. Turn fed. I don't know fed for like federal, you know, you're working for the fed. So I don't know, right? <laughs> for the past six years, I feel constantly like I'm struggling just to switch my headaches over to dev mode, especially when it involves complicated logic like forms and such, right? First of all, forms should be easy. It, don't let that drown. Okay, but whatever. Let's move on. I'm really struggling. How do you gain confidence? to stick through the rough challenges in things like JavaScript. I need some motivation and courage, brother, right? On the other hand, I can whoop the hell out of some HTML and CSS and SCSS. So pretty much, Matt, you already got the hardest thing done, right? Which is, hey, if you're comfortable with HTML and CSS, you got the first part done. You know, congrats, right? Now, the next thing is, you're probably thinking in your head, man, JavaScript, the DOM, you know, forms, Ajax, and all of the stuff that, that comes with JavaScript. You're thinking in your head, man, this is hard, this is difficult. Trust me, bro, this is not difficult. Now, it might seem like I'm being an a-hole from coming from this side, which I've already learned this stuff, and you're like, man, I'm I'm getting there. But when you say, hey Joe, you know, uh, I'm trying to get this done, and then I tell you, like, oh, it's easy. Some people take it like, oh man, he just don't know. And it's like, I do know, guys. <laughs> I went through the whole thing that you guys are going through right now. Listen, I want you guys to really understand there's no developers that are geniuses, right? That's the first thing. The second thing that I will say is that you have to understand everybody's just regular people, right? That's all you need to really worry about, right? You got to think in your head, hey, I'm just a regular person learning this stuff. I'm not a genius. Nobody that's here is a genius. What happens is people put in more time than others into a certain topic, and they become really, really good. You know, you look at basketball, and you think of a guy who has never missed a free throw. You know how many free throws that guy throws all night, right? A guy that never misses a dunk is because he constantly dunking, right? And it's the same thing as over here with web development and learning how to program. You have to understand the things that are hard right now, a month from now, right? You're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh, my God, why did I think this was so hard? This is easy. Don't give up, right? That's the first thing that you got to do. You cannot give up. You got to understand. You just got to keep going at it. Even if you keep failing, you know, you keep getting errors, console log it figure it out right uh you know you having the same problems keep doing them again right you you don't understand how loops work create loops constantly so you can get comfortable with it uh you know functions and creating small little functions like you know like hey print my name or hey multiply two numbers you know little simple like like that like you don't need to create this this great big project for you to say hey I know JavaScript. Now, you start from the bottom. You start building yourself up every single day, right? I know a lot of times, especially if, you, like you say, you work full time, you've been doing this full time uh, as a job, then I know it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. You come home, you're tired, you're like, man, and the last thing that you want to do is deal with a uh, half an hour to an hour of debugging or trying to figure out something. You're like, man, why isn't this working? It still happens to me till this day. I'll be working on something and I come in and I, I bump into a wall. I'm like, man, what the hell? Like I, I've done this a million times. Why today is not working, right? Could be a semicolon. Could be you forgot a variable. Could be like, let's say a variable is in camel case. You put a capitalized. Uh, let's say you put a, um, you missed a letter. Sometimes like little things like that, you realize that those are really the mistakes that, that are happening to you. You know, so when you bumping into this wall, 
of like JavaScript. And you're like, man, this is difficult. This is difficult. No, start from scratch. Start from the beginning. Go slow. Take your time. Understand variables, functions, loops. Understand all those things. Then from there, jump to the DOM. How to add a class. That's all you need to know for, at first. How to add a class to an element. How to remove a class from an element. How to uh, delete an element from the, the page. How to add an element to the page. How to, uh, you know, use template, st uh, template strings to, to change something on the page. Like, for example, like you have a variable called name. How do you print out the variable name in the HTML tag? But then when it's on the HTML tag, it prints out your name. Little things like that. I don't know. Some people are probably like, man, this is like super easy, super basic. But those are the concepts in JavaScript that become hard for people. Right? Those are the things that people hit a wall. They're like, man, I'm trying to print something to the screen and nothing's working. I'm looping through this thing. I'm getting an infinite, an infinite loop. Da da da. You know, et cetera, et cetera. And they feel like they, they're hitting that wall. Don't worry about that, man. Don't, don't worry about it. You're going to get it, right? Where you at right now, you're going to realize that a month from now, you already understood it. A week from now. So it's not going to take you a month, but a month from now, you're going to look back and be like, man, why was I like, you know, uh, thinking that this was so hard? It's just time. It's the time that you put in. You have to put in the extra time. You know, even if like, Let's say an example. Right now, you can only put two hours, one hour a day. Try to go to sleep later, right? Say, hey, if I can only go from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, be like, nah, tonight I'm going to sacrifice it. I'm going to go from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the morning and go to sleep the next day to work tired, but you knocked out those four hours. In those four hours, you should be able to find the answer that you was having trouble with, right? Now, when you say, hey, like, what is it that's going to, give you motivation and courage is the fact that you want to do this. There's really no way to nobody hold your hand and be like, hey, this is how you, you know, this is how you're going to go hard and become a developer. Nobody can do that for you. Only you can do that for yourself, right? Those guys that go to the Army, that go to the Navy, uh, you know, the Marines, you know, nobody, their, their mom loves them. Their dad loves them. Their sister loves them. Their brother loves them. Right? Everybody's like, oh, we're rooting for you. But only a few people are going to make it to the whole training. People just give up. Right? I mean, how bad do you want it? You know, is it bad enough to say, hey, there's, you know, one problem that I'm having issues with and it's going to take me five to six hours to figure it out? Or you're going to be like, at the one hour, you're like, ah. Oh, this is too hard. I'm, I'm leaving. You got to understand everything in JavaScript is related to each other, right? Like you can't create a, a function. You can't work with function properly unless you know how to work properly with variables, right? There's really no point of view understanding uh, other things in the DOM if you don't know how to run loops. Like this, things are depending on each other. You know, sometimes it's hard even to teach something like programming to people because everything is depending on each other. It's like you, the first thing you got to start is variables and then from there start winning people in because it's like everything that you teach is depending on each other. Or sometimes there's times that you like you try to teach somebody uh, somebody something and the thing that you're trying to teach them has something that you haven't even taught them yet, right? And then you got to come back and explain what was that other thing that was in there and you're like, wait, we were talking about functions. What's this thing here happening inside of this function? You got to go back and be like, oh, this hoisting. And now you got to come back and explain it. There's so many things that are depending on each other, right? But all you have to do is keep pushing, understanding that you're going to get it. Nobody's special. That's my number one rule for everybody to understand. Nobody's special. Doesn't matter if it's... Uh, What's this guy's name? Dan Abramov. It doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, what's the guy that created Ruby on Rails. It doesn't matter if it's the creator of Python. It doesn't matter if it's the creator of Linux. None of those guys are special. 
what happens is that they put in more hours than me. They put in more hours than you into this. That's it. It's that simple. It's not like, oh, that these people are the smartest people in the world. No. These people put in way more work than us. That's it. But it doesn't mean that you can't achieve that. You can definitely achieve that. All you have to do is put in those hours. How bad do you want it? How bad do you really want to be in front of a computer coding all day? That's about it. That's the only thing that I can tell you about motivation. You know, and at the end, you know, once you get all of this stuff done, there's a, you know, a nice little paycheck at the end of the day like that. You know, it's like how they used to have the carry in front of like the, the you know, the donkeys and, and what was it like the, the Bugs Bunny, they put a little carry in front of them. Like, that's it. That's about it. That's the only motivation that I can give you, right? But what I can help you out with is the fact that, yo, just keep going. Stop thinking that the, the end of the world is here because you can't figure something out at this moment. This moment is like a little blip in your life. You got to go past this thing. It's like when people used to learn how to ride a bike. I mean, people remember they fall a couple of times, but they remember the times that they're riding the bike. They don't really focus on the time that they fell, right? You know how many times I fell on <laughs> JavaScript, how many times I tried to learn it and understand it? It took me a long time. I'll be honest. It took me a long time to get to the level where I'm at. It took me years. But did I give up? No. You just keep going. You keep creating, you keep creating more projects and, and learning from other people, right? There's things that I know that somebody else don't know out there. And then, but that person might have something that they have, like knowledge from like Java or C Sharp or C++ that they're coming in to JavaScript and they're using that knowledge that they brought from over there. And I learned that from them, right? And vice versa. So it's like you're constantly learning. So don't give up. Just keep going at it. And that's it. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. And guys, listen, I told you guys, you go to my website, CodingPhase.com. I literally go over all this stuff. Like the way how I teach things is in a way to explain things for somebody who's self-taught. Right? There's a big difference between somebody who's teaching you um, because they have a computer science background, they have a, a you know, uh, how you call it, it's like a, a background in teaching. Like they teach a whole different way because they're not self-taught. When you're self-taught, you understand the things that give you problems. So you're like, man, I can't learn this. I can't teach them this because when I was trying to learn this, I didn't understand this other concepts before it. And then everybody always teach you this, this thing first. But as a self-taught developer, you hit the wall because this thing that people are teaching you first was not the thing that you needed to learn. So that's what I do on my website. I come in, I break it down for regular people like me and you who have no history in programming. And just we just learn that way. That's it. All right. So check out the description, the links below. You should be good. Um, and I'll see you guys later. And Matt, whatever you need, man, holler at me. Let me know. I'll try to help you out. If, look, give this a chance, I would say go to my website, sign up, give it a chance. It's like, I believe it's 10 bucks. If you feel like you didn't learn anything, you cancel it, right? That's it. It's 10 bucks. It's like pretty much is like the, the least amount of money that you're going to have to invest into something. You could go and find a, a million courses out there, but nobody's going to really break it down to you in a way of like somebody who's trying to, you know, teach themselves at home how to learn how to coach. So, you know, take advantage, all right? Email me, send me questions, guys. And I love when I see comments like this. You know, I love seeing comments where people ask me questions, where people leave something that's related to the topic, when something positive, even when it's negative, I like to see it, you know? So long as it's respectful, we definitely going to answer it back. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.